All right. Uh, next up now, as we continue along, San Diego State, San Jose State. Uh, we've got San Diego State, nine, nine and a half point road favorites, uh, 41 and a half the total in this game. My, oh, my, oh, my, what has happened to our beloved San Jose State Spartans, man? I mean, obviously injuries are the big part of it. I mean, Nick Starkle's been out for a couple of weeks. The defense is banged up. They've had a hellacious travel schedule. We've certainly made note of that uh, on this show uh, recently, just how brutal the schedule has been uh, for this San Jose State Spartans team. And it's definitely caught up to them. The injuries, the attrition, the travel. I mean, that's a that's a less than stellar Colorado State team who just absolutely drilled them last week, 32-14, to 14, outgained them by almost 200 yards. I hate to say it, but it's hard to trust San Jose State. I'm going to have to dive into this injury report uh, because when you look at it, it's been rough. The offense is really stagnated, especially last week. And Colorado State's defense – you know, is not exactly a great defense, but you see what how they played last week. There was the offensive lines in shambles. They're dealing with all kinds of concerns there. They could only get 48 yards rushing out of Tyler Nevins, their great running back. Uh, Nick Nash is a mediocre passing quarterback. He's pretty athletic, but, you know, their passing game is not the same with Nick Starkle injured. It's just a bunch of problems. And again, the defense has kind of caved in as well the last few weeks. They gave up 31 to New Mexico State, 32 to a you know, like I say, Colorado yeah. State's offense isn't great. They're giving up 32 points and they're giving up, you know, 449 yards. So you talk about candidates for most disappointing team early this year in college football, Brent Brennan's team, San Jose State, certainly up there. All that said, I'm not really rushing to lay this kind of number with San Diego State here uh, in this game. It's just not the kind of team I'm comfortable laying points like this, especially on the road. You look at San Diego State last week against New Mexico, and they pounded them 31-7. Uh, and look, they've been covering numbers. Don't get me wrong. They have done yeah. a good job in that regard. Four straight point spread covers, a win against Utah, win against Arizona, two Pac-12 teams, dominated uh, New Mexico. Like, they're playing good football. They're playing excellent defense. Uh, but I just don't know if I want to lay nine because I'll tell you right now, injury-wise, we'll see how it goes throughout the course of the week. But I can tell you, if you like San Jose State, you are absolutely getting the best of it with them this week because there has been a power rating betting market crash on their power rating after last week's loss to Colorado State. So to me, there's no doubt value on the San Jose State side. But man, before I even consider a bet on them, I'm going to see who's playing and hopefully Starkle in particular because if he's not back, he's gotta I don't be. know if I'd want to back this offense uh, without him. What do you think, Connor Mack? Yeah, he's got to be back in. Uh, for me to have a bet on them. And I don't even think I can bet on them right now. And for me in this game, as we're looking right now, I could only be on San Diego State. Just San, They have so many injuries. They've looked so bad. They've lost every game against the spread. Um, and now you talked about the defense the last few games. Giving up 31 to New Mexico State, 32 to Colorado State. Um, and, yeah, I don't love laying point on the road, San Diego State, but they've been pretty good this year especially scoring points. I'd only, I'd only lay it here with San Diego state. Just, I think they're the better football team right now. Um, and they've been covering numbers. San Jose state isn't maybe this is the ultimate track. I'd have to, you know, Nash with him in, I can't take him. So, I mean, I'd only be San Diego state. 